All right, so I finally managed to finish the the most important piece of my game engine that is Python scripting. So I reverted and I have here this entity, this mesh, uh, that is the Suzanne, this, this monkey, and I have a Python component here that I selected my script, like my component.py that is located in the asset folder here. And I can edit the script inside the engine, or if I want, I can literally edit outside in any editor that I want. So let's go to the practice and see this working. Uh, it's a very simple script. Let me actually show outside the engine just to make it make things a little bit easier. I do have an engine.component class that you have to inrant from. So you create your, your own class and you have to override the start and the update methods. So I have here both methods and I'm defining a value which equals to zero and I'm using this value to apply a rotation to my object like uh, here. And every frame I'm increasing this, this number by 0 0.5, okay? So if I press run here, if we can see that is that the object starts to run. So if I stop here, let me actually grab that. Let me reset the rotation and I will click here to reset the script. It's just a, a demo. So I do, a, I added this reset script button and let me change that. For example, let me make it rotate a little bit faster or a little bit slower. So let me change that to 0 0.1 and I click, I will hit save and I will hit run again. And if you see, I'm running everything a little bit slower. And by the way, I can literally move things. I can uh, change the rotation. Uh, oops, not rotation because I'm set in here. But I can change other stuff like the, the scale. So everything is interactable during uh, this runtime. Okay, so let's say that I want to move this object instead of rotate them. So let me reset the script real quick. And I already have here some code but I commented it out that I'm using the math library in Python. So I imported math here and I'm using this, uh, the scene function to define this, this variable based on the value that I'm updating every frame here. So with that, I can set the position, the transform dot position to a vector tree that is zero, this variable and another zero. So if I hit save to save my script, let me reset that. And if I press run, you can see that the, the, the Suzanne is slowly moving up and then down. Let me make it go a little bit faster because that's too slow. And run again. So if you see the monkey, the monkey is moving just like, just as you as expected to move and I again I can select other objects I can like move my camera around let me make this object go up a little bit and everything is working let me just stop this and select my mesh again reset the script and make it rotate a little bit faster like 0 0.9 let me save and let me run and here we go so this is a very important Thing. So now you can literally write your code, write your game right inside the editor and you don't have to compile stuff because the, it's Python and Python don't need to be compiled. So it's very fast and quick to set up your games and do whatever you want. Okay, so I'm writing the API right now. I mean, the, the classes and all the functions that you will need to play sounds, uh, activate physics and keyboard events. So I'm writing that, but this is not complicated. I, I, I already did the most complicated part. So that's everything for this video. I hope you enjoy it. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And maybe in the near future, I will release this engine for everyone to try. Okay, so I see you in the next video.